I am the future. I am the present. I am here, and I am now. I am fate. And I am God. What's up? Uh, Mr. Parking here to do a review. Uh, I actually uh, caught whiff of this movie. I don't even remember how. I, I stumbled on it on IMDB or something like that, and it sounded pretty interesting. It's uh, called Morbid, A Love Story. It's an indie movie. I actually contacted the director uh, to get a copy. Uh, this one, this edition, is just uh, one he was selling himself. Uh, it also comes with a bonus features of behind the scenes and a short film on there. But uh, basically the commercial uh, trailer caught my interest because it seemed like kind of like this artsy serial killer type thing. And I was like, that looks pretty cool. So I uh, got it. And when it came, uh, I sat here for a couple days and I decided to pop it in. And uh, basically it's not really too artsy like I thought it would be artsy fartsy kind of. It's different. Uh, it kind of starts off in the beginning kind of like a, a, a parody in a way. Uh, the serial killer is basically, you know, talking about narrating kind of uh, his deal. And he's saying... Uh, Basically, uh, he's a serial killer who likes to kill bad people, kind of Dexter style, and he uh, rates them 1 through 10. It's kind of, might be behind the mask or something like that. Uh, other serial killers are a 10 and stuff like that. And it even gets as silly as him killing a samurai woman, if that tells you what kind of movie it is. And it kind of changes gears at certain points. Uh, it seems like a grindhouse movie at some points. Uh, again, there's a, a pretty nasty scene in the beginning with the child molester who uh, is a killing kids and everything like that and uh, he, he's very good at, at in the very beginning he seems pretty creepy beautiful day isn't it i see you don't talk to strangers you're a smart girl my name's tyson but my friends call me t i'm elise Elise. That's a pretty name. This is a dangerous place for a little girl like yourself. What are you doing here all alone? Mommy said I need to take the bus home today. That sounds scary. I remember when I was your age, I hated the bus. Too many mean looking people. Maybe... I should give you a ride home. It'll be much faster. And we can get an ice cream on the way back. How much longer? My car is just right through those trees, huh? You'll have your ice cream soon enough. My car is just right there. Where? I can't see it. Just right through those trees. Where? I don't see it. Right there! <sighs> and now he lures the girls in is uh, very, very uh, disturbing in a way. Not super disturbing, but it's kind of disturbing. I mean... When you watch horror films all the time, you get you get used to that a little bit. But anyways, uh, still could disturb some people. And then uh, also it seems like a coming of an age movie at points. Basically, this movie takes place as uh, our lead, uh, Christian. He's uh, on a college campus, and uh, he acts normal. Even uh, the director in the making of told him to go watch Dawson Creek things because he wanted to have that like a nice, uh, nice guy appeal for the girls and stuff. But of course, he has a dark side. Uh, he's an egotistical serial killer. Of course, uh, mo like most serial killers in film, uh, he has a troubled past, uh, which is revealed uh, through a car accident and uh, kind of uh, people deciding right and wrong. He has a trouble believing God and stuff like that, so he decides who lives, who dies. Egotistical type deal, you know, American psycho and other things like that. Uh, Trying to think of other egotistical serial killers, murder set pieces in a way. But uh, he's got his own thing going too. Like again, he's a nice guy, people think. But uh, of course he has a dark secret. Uh, he does some pretty disgusting things, kind of like over the top things that kind of reflect on the grindhouse aspect of film. Uh, like he puts a dead fetus and a penis and an ear in the blender and drinks it for protein. Stuff like that that just doesn't necessarily fit, but it fits because other things are in there like this. Uh, 
a very high kill count. The special effects are pretty decent. Uh, again, it's a college film, so don't expect, like, you know, Star Wars of its time for effects. Uh, they're all right. Uh, the, the main actor does a pretty good job. I was uh, happy with it, um, the acting. Uh, the other actors are also good. Uh, this movie also has a theme, kind of Love Conquers the Demon, Natural Born Killers type deal, and that kind of plays out in here. I don't want to get into too much detail to ruin the movie, but the ending is kind of a, a very, very different way to end a serial killer movie, if I must say. But of course it has the ending of a typical, there it's not over yet, of course. But uh, I didn't think it was uh, all that bad. I thought it was actually pretty good, and uh, for a low-budget film, I enjoyed it. Uh, the soundtrack seemed to be done by... Uh, you know, multiple different people, maybe people he knew uh, that pitched in. But uh, most of the acting's decent. Some of the acting's shaky. Uh, the lead carries it pretty well. And uh, there's a couple cool snippets in here and everything. I enjoyed it myself. Uh, there's actually a particularly funny scene where the, uh, the characters in the movie start talking about the director himself, saying that his films are all exploitative and stuff like that. And, you know, that kind of maybe I uh, think it was a little more funny about the grindhouse thing in the movie because they do mention I spit on the grave and they call her one eye throw a cruel picture and stuff like that. Nah dude I'm out for the night. I'm fucking rocked. Night pussy. I am, I am what I eat. <laughs> what are you like seven? Yeah. Oh, fuck off guys. I'm out of here. Alright take it easy like. Hey we're seeing uh, Tongue on Friday right? Yeah I'm, I'm down. Oh is that the shitty new Payson film? It's not high budget if that's what you mean. Uh, not one of them. Okay, well, it's gotten three stars on Rotten Apple Week. Are you serious? Come on, all Payson films are trash. They're full of violence and horrible acting. I mean, if I wanted to go see an exploitation film, I'd see I Spit on Your Grave or They Call Her One Eye. Payson films are not exploitation. I mean, what have you seen of his? The Monster in the Bucket one. How is Dead for Breakfast an exploitation film? Come on, man. I mean, the main character fucks that little girl while the demon is eating out her intestines. I mean, come on, that is sick that you'd even watch that shit. Each his own, man. I mean, sometimes you gotta get some violence to get your point across. Seriously, Payson is just looking at it from the deepest, darkest point of the human mind and, and bringing it to the forefront. It's a metaphor for the light and the dark of the human soul. Now seriously, can we play the game? See? See? If you guys actually watch these films, you might actually like them. Or at least get the understanding of the message. No thanks, I'll stick to my more meaningful films. But, you know, thanks anyway. So, uh, the director is familiar with exploitation and Grindhouse. Uh, the DVD, like I said, comes with a short, and the short is actually really funny. It's called The Itch, and it's kind of a melt movie. Think uh, Street Trash, uh, Incredible Melting Man, that uh, kind of uh, tells you to wear a condom. Really funny there. It's only a 10-minute short, but it's well worth your time, the short. Like I said, it has some funny special effects in there. So all around, it's a nice little purchase. Uh, I'll probably have a link where you can get the DVD. It, it's not too expensive, and it's uh, pretty, uh, if you like, a kind of a like short, uh, not short, but uh, kind of a low-budget, little experimental Horror movies, I mean, from uh, young directors, then check it out. It's morbid, a love story. And uh, like I said, you know, the love aspects come in and kind of mess with his head. After he gets into, like, a fight, he gets hit in the head again, and then he starts having changes of emotions. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much the movie here. Uh, not a bad film at all. Uh, check it out if you like it. Uh, the making of was also very interested, and uh, it's cool. So have a good one. Bye. That was fun, but the uh, night's still young, so how about if I just call you? Back up that nice ass.